Hey everyone, it's Tourmaline and today I am going to try out some piping tips. Pretty much as simple as that. Um, I want to see what effects each of these 24 traditional icing piping tips will create with silicone um, to kind of give us an idea of some um, more experimental decadent techniques. You saw in my last uh, like Unicorn Galaxy phone case video um, me just using uh, this actual specific circle tip here to create kind of like a wavy snake like effect and I think it'd be pretty cool to maybe be able to try some other things out as well. Um, I am also going to do a video if not included at the end of this video trying out some Russian piping tips. Um, so I guess let's get started. I'm going to pipe an entire thing of this white GE silicone into this piping bag and then um, just try out each piping tip on this paper here. I'll do kind of like dots with each one in a line or something like that to try to give like a full idea of what designs they can create. Then I'll pick a couple that I really liked and maybe make something with them at the end. Uh, so here goes nothing. First, I'm going to put this coupler in the piping bag so that I can switch out the tips without having to switch out bags entirely or, yeah, I think that makes sense.
So I'm back. It has been quite a while since I filmed the first part of this video, but I am now finally ready to craft with some of my favorite um, icing tips from that experiment. Uh, those that I liked best were number 22 and number 12, which was the really tiny dotting one and then the one that kind of creates a shell effect on that traditional star tip. So, I have some silicone that is, I think, even more clear than the GE kind I used in my last video. I'm not sure what the consistency of this will be, but I'm going to try it out. Uh, to dye it, I'm going to use a drop or two of alcohol ink. Um, not sure how that reacts with silicone either. I think it'll be fine, but it'll be an experiment on all ends. Then I have some different glitters and cabochons that we may or may not use in this project. We will see. I do have some hearts since I didn't do a Valentine's Day video. Maybe this will make up for that. Alright, first I'm going to paint on some glue and add some glitter and then I'm going to pipe the silicone over top of that. Now, these tips did not clean very well because I had them sitting for so long. Um, so hopefully it still pipes okay, but if not, I have some similar plastic versions. Uh, this circle one is almost identical. This one is not quite that shell shape. It'll more just be a traditional star tip, like a number 13, I think it is. But we will start with our metal ones from the first part of the video and cross our fingers for the best. this glue is still not dry and I'm just gonna silicone pipe over it and see what happens because that's what this channel is anyway I should have blamed this out better because uh, obviously the glue wouldn't be dry yet but that's a uh, something to address a future day So my little waves in it are going a little sideways because this silicone is stickier. But that's okay.
My hands are thoroughly covered in silicone, so I might as well keep the trend going. These are some cupcakes from the future. You'll see them in a video later on. I want to decorate these mini things with some silicone icing. And I have some leftover uh, sprinkles and little fruits to put on top. So I think though I'm going to go ahead and use a plastic tip. This is the same as one of the metal tips, it's just a traditional, uh, slightly smaller version of a traditional star tip and that'll be make my life a lot easier as far as cleaning is concerned. So we're going to go that route and I'm just going to use some white silicone, probably piped directly into the piping bag. Five times a charm. Actually, that one looks pretty good. <laughs> Remember how I said that looked good? I dropped it. Of course I did. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Let these stiffen a little bit and then I will add some decorative toppings. Thanks so much for watching. I will show you some reveals of the projects in a minute. But a quick thing I learned is that not all household caulk is silicone caulk. Uh, there is acrylic based caulk, which does come in a matte variety, which may have been a good thing to use for these little cupcakes. It might have made, oh, there's a hair on that. It might have made some more realistic icing if it wasn't so shiny, although I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out regardless. But also, there is, um, super adhesive rubber sealant known as Lexel. <laughs> so that's this really clear stuff. Um, they market it as being 100, I think they said like 100 times clearer than silicone, um, the duct tape of caulks, but uh, overall it is super adhesive. Um, so to the point where I actually don't feel like I need to put any extra sealant on this because it's on there and is not coming off. It did pipe pretty well, although you heard me say a couple times that it's pretty sticky. Um, so where that swirl of the shell shape, instead of swirling straight, it kind of went crooked. Uh, like I said, you can't see it though, so it's probably not actually an issue. Um, the only thing that did become an issue is that it will not fully clean off my tools. It comes off a little bit, but if you can see, uh, it's, still, it's still stuck on there. <laughs> You saw, I think in my last video, me peel silicone out of that little plastic ball and it just peeled out easily. This, however, bonds to hard plastic. So just be aware of that. There are some pros and cons. I'm still happy with it for this project and we'll probably use it for something in the future, but um, it's just good to know if it will damage your um, tools and therefore use it sparingly. All right. So, oh, one more thing. I meant to leave these cupcakes to just slightly dry, let that silicone set up. You can't see what I'm doing. Um, and then poke in some decorations and stuff, but then I went to sleep and forgot about them. So for now, they are just, or for always, I suppose. They are just plain little cupcakes. I apparently don't know where my camera lens is. Um, except for this one that you saw me put sprinkles on earlier. So stay tuned for all the close-ups and uh, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I will see you next time.